Forgive my grimace face. I was just trying to jump in. We've got one more quick question. Uh, a, a star that often dims in the night sky, I'm going to call it Beetle Goose. I don't think it's that, but I had a crack at it. Um, there's an explanation for why it dims now. Yeah, so Beetle Goose or Beetle Juice, uh, depending on it. In fact, okay. Beetle uh, Goose is a bit more uh, the, the Arabic name. So this is a star in the constellation Orion. You know, sometimes Australians would call that the saucepan. And this star... Uh, it, Exciting for people like me because it's one of the best stars and options. That star is going to blow up in our nighttime sky in the coming years or, you know, thousands of years potentially. And it, it dims, as you said, and, and really changes its brightness quite often. And as you're seeing on your screen now for the first time, realize there's actually a second star. This star is, it's only about four times further than the Earth is from the sun. So these things are really packed in. You know, you're not even the distance between Mars, but you have two big stars right next to each other, except the other star is it's a really young star that we usually don't see. So it's actually explained a lot of the strange behavior of this star, and hopefully will aid in our understanding of exactly, okay. you know, why it goes through these dimming processes, why it changes its brightness, and then hopefully a better prediction on when uh, it will blow up in the coming centuries. I'll have to have you one night stargazing, just so I can you can tell my kids what they are, because I always... Try to Google it and fail. Brad Tucker, thank you. Talk next week.